Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 bizarre creatures discovered in the Amazon jungle. Ugh. Kicking off the list at number 10, mystery spider. Yeah, for this first one, we're not even sure what kind of spider it is. How calming is that? Let's do it. Some kind of spider is making what's referred to as silkhenge. Yeah, this piece of spider art was first discovered back in 2013 by Troy Alexander, who posted a photo of it on the internet, asking for help and identifying what exactly he's looking at, but no one could help identify it because it's a totally unknown phenomenon. These structures are created by spiders or some sort of spider to help with reproduction because they're protecting their eggs. It looks quite alien, but this is all just to protect little baby spiders in that middle tip. There's one main spire that's constructed of spider silk, and that's where the eggs are contained, and then surrounding that spire is a sort of a circular fence that is also made of spider silk. Similar appearance to Stonehenge, hence the name Silkhenge. But to this day, we haven't found much. This was discovered back in 2013, and only a year ago, we got more information. Tropical science communicator Phil Torres recently visited Peru, and he got footage in 4K. It's beautiful. We no longer have to slide through the same three grainy photos. Check this out. Torres explains how this research has affected his well-being, obviously. He said it's the thing that keeps him up at night because it's so annoyingly hard to find. Despite having seen it in so many places he goes, the next time it's like it was never there at all. Yeah, that's frustrating. It's also tiny too. In this recent clip, it's beautiful. Again, high definition. You can really see how intricate the work is. But Torres also discovered that these things are tiny and they come in clusters. So if you find one, there's probably a few nearby. Also, don't destroy it. We still have no idea who or what's making these silk hinges, so take some photos, hang out a bit, do some research. Number nine, the Brazilian wandering spider. Its bite can give you an erection that lasts for hours. That's a real fact, and that's how I'm gonna start this uh, point in here. This animal is dangerous. Its bite, of course, will hurt you. You'll be sweating. Blood pressure will increase, hence that side effect. They're more commonly known as banana spiders, so guess I can't eat bananas anymore. There goes my favorite snack. These little guys have been listed as the world's most venomous spider in a handful of years in the Guinness Book of World Records. We love, we love records. Record-breaking spiders. If its name didn't already tip you off, these things can be found in Brazil. There's eight different kinds of wandering spiders. Um, avoid them all. That's my advice here on MA10. That's it. How does that sound? Boom. Science is quite interesting here. They're trying to create the next Viagra using the spider's venom. That's why I started with that wild side effect. There's always a point to it. I'm not just being silly all the time. The future is here, friends, and apparently it's filled with spiders. Just cuts to a bunch of old dudes in the woods just hanging out like... Mm, please. Number eight. Bullet ants. They're called bullet ants because their bite feels like a bullet wound. Promising start, awesome. They're also referred to as the Parapanera clavada, but that sounds like a dark curse in Harry Potter, so we're gonna call them the bullet ant for now. They're commonly found in tropical rainforests in Central and South America. Their sting is considered, yeah, the most powerful in the world, hence the bullet thing, and its effects can last 24 hours. Yeah, another fun nickname for them is a 24 hour ant. They're also the world's largest ant, so you can really see it coming. You should see it coming, worst case scenario. These guys get you in a colony though, game over. There's a good chance you won't even survive at all. One bite is bad enough, let alone a colony. Its venom's so powerful, it's being studied right now for its use as a pesticide. Yeah, we're sacrificing ants to further our research on how to sacrifice ants. This is dark, that sounds pretty dark when you say it like that. There's actually an indigenous Amazonian tribe in Brazil and they use bullet ant stings as part of a ceremonial process to become a warrior. I would not pass, I wouldn't even make it to the island. I'm not good with bugs. They have to keep a straight face the entire time whilst getting bit. That's so impressive. Number seven, dart frog. You may be thinking, thank God, a frog, something cute, something unlike the bullet ant. Guess again, mm, not this time. Small but mighty, the poison dart frog is one of the deadliest animals on earth. I left the word poison out of the title. I juked you out, I did it on purpose. Its shiny yellow skin will certainly attract the eye, but if you decide to try and, you know, catch one of these slippery boys, its poison can kill 10 fully grown adults. All bad. Indigenous hunters figured this out and they coated the tips of their arrows or darts in this toxin. The toxin created naturally here is called Batracotoxin. Another creature we've mentioned on this channel before that also has the same toxin is the Pitui bird. That's in Australia though, it's far away. Either way, a lot of poison moving around us in nature. It's actually pretty alarming. Birds and frogs, just, I'm just gonna stay home. I'm just gonna stay home and do this all day. Number six, mosquitoes. These guys suck, no matter where you are. But when it comes to the Amazon, like everything else, it's much worse than you could ever imagine. Mosquitoes are one of the most dangerous because they can fly and you don't see them coming. And once they get you, the damage has already been done. They're just full of blood. How gross is that? They're horrible. They're if you travel to parts of the Amazon rainforest and you don't have yellow fever vaccinations or extremely strong mosquito repellent, you're gonna have a bad time. These suckers are clouds of malaria just waiting for you to walk into by accident. And then you go, oh, 
and it's too late. Number five, decoy spider. Oh, these are all horrible. These decoy building spiders are exceptionally small, but super, super smart. These spiders only measure to be about five millimeters in length, but you might see a much larger spider hanging out in a web that they've created. See, this might sound scary, but this large spider is actually a fake spider. It's a decoy. It's a decoy spider that the small spider built out of various materials like food scraps, debris, even their old skin to make a bigger, scarier spider. That's horrible, I wish I didn't know this. Look, art is subjective, okay, that's for sure. I don't think this is the most lovely piece of animal art on the planet, but it works, it gets the job done. A rather impressive defense mechanism for such a tiny little dude. These spiders were only discovered pretty recently, so again, not much is known about them, as there still needs to be tons of research done, just like the other horrible spider on this list. It is, however, believed that this is a feature that has evolved in this particular spider, so it's possible we've only recently discovered it because it's a new feature. Yeah, how neat is that? Hey, spiders are learning new tricks. Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> I'm so scared, cheers. Number four, the electric eel. First of all, never rub an electric eel like they're a genie lamp. You're gonna want three more wishes if you do that, my friend. That was the moray eel. That one can bite your fingers off, which is horrible. But you should never touch an eel in the first place because a lot of them are electric. As its name hints towards, these type of eels can mess you up even if you weren't to get the first hit. Specifically, the newly discovered two and a half meter Electrophorus volti. Yeah, the Electrophorus volti. No, that's not a new hybrid car coming out on the market. This is a dangerous beast. It was appropriately named after Alessandro Volta, AKA the guy who invented the battery, and it can release a shock up to 860 volts, more than seven times the voltage of your average wall plug. It was recently discovered only a year ago that electric eels in Amazon rivers like to travel in packs. They like to travel with their friends and they all head to the bar together. How fun is that? Packs of electric water snakes. Does it get worse than that? It can't get worse than that, can it? Number three, black caiman. It can get worse than that. It can get a lot worse than that. If you're not a fan of alligators, you might want to skip to the next one. Black caiman is the largest family member in the alligator day crew. These super alligators live in calm, slow moving rivers, places you wouldn't expect, you know, a dinosaur to be and jump out at you, essentially. Just like dangerous river snakes, one I might talk about later, these black caiman will take it slow and just wait for their prey to have a sip of water. And then at that point, the largest predator in the Amazon will grab its lunch and quickly return to the water, just like that. Be very loud and very fast. This thing eats birds, it eats reptiles, mammals even. Even, yeah, yeah. This thing can and will eat everything. Between 2008 and 2013 alone, there were 43 black caiman attacks on people. Yeah, a handful of these attacks were fatal. I'll leave it at that. Number two, pink dolphins. We'll do a nice one before we do the horrible big bad number one, deal? Deal. Pink dolphins of the Amazon River. They're the largest of all river dolphins and adults. More often than not, males end up turning pink as they age, and we have no idea why. Scientists aren't exactly sure why these guys are pink or why the color comes later in life, seeing as, you know, they're born gray. Our leading theory here is that the color is brought on by scar tissue that results from fighting with other dolphins or predators. I'm sure it's not an easy go, you know, swimming through schools of electric eels and all that jazz, so yeah, fair. It could be a pretty rough environment. Some old legends hilariously mention that pink dolphins maybe can and turn into a handsome man in the evenings. And then during this time, they would hypnotize and seduce young women before turning back into dolphins again near sunrise. Yeah, forget Morbius. I wanna see that movie. That's a supervillain origin story I would pay to see. The pink dolphin handsome man. He has one day to find love, and then he turns back into a dolphin. Number one, green anacondas. Of course, we have to talk about the anaconda, specifically the green anaconda. It's green like the Hulk, because it's always angry and scary and violent. This movie came out 25 years ago. I remember watching Anaconda with my family, and it made me extremely afraid of snakes, actually. This was probably the one that did it. So how accurate was that film? Although the green anaconda is a non-venomous snake, the boa constrictor is still one of the most dangerous ever. It's the most feared, definitely the most feared. Green anacondas live in calm marshes or slow streams. And again, they wait until their large prey gets thirsty. And once they come to the water, the anaconda suffocates and wraps around its lunch. Yeah. Anacondas hunt prey that's larger than us humans. So if they wanted to, they could for sure eat us. There's only no evidence of it happening because humans rarely interact with them in general. So anacondas probably don't know they could eat us. Green anacondas can reach lengths of up to 30 feet. So plenty of space for you and yours. Awesome. You and yours. He ends it on a crack, on a voice crack. That's great. That's how scared I am, this anaconda. Those are the top 10 bizarre creatures discovered in the Amazon jungle. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. I'm gonna go rinse my eyes out. That was horrible. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> they know how to get fat, and you're like, oh, okay. What are you eating? Some spicy chicken anything, I'm in. In this recent clip, it's beautiful. 
beautiful, and we're all gonna become Spider Men. With you can't say. You can do a bit of, like old guys trying to get stung. Oh, that's actually really funny. That's actually really funny. It's a Chris joke. Chris, I do comedy. Chris is like, I have a good bit. Yeah, man. We're gonna throw you at number eight. I don't know that bad. 340. I'm itchy. Oh, I'm so itchy doing this list. How about bugs? Oh. And oh, I'm like, no lid, eh? This guy's so scary. Yeah, this little curl here keeps touching me, and I'm like, get out of here, dude. Jen cannot do this list. What's in my eye right now? There we go.